toughing it out, playing the peach. Yeah, and Faskery is actually the twentieth, like the number twenty player on the MDVA PR. So this is, you know, pretty strong player. I do you know if he was seated accordingly for that? I actually don't know. Yeah, so it's because I know player four is I haven't seen him do that much online, but you know he was a very solid player back in the offline days. So, um, unless I said, did I misspeak there? Did I say online, online, offline, offline? Anyway, point is, we're getting into the match here. It's going to be uh, Villager versus Peach. Now, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on this matchup here? I mean, the way that Faskery is playing it, sort of a lot of a keep away, because honestly, I agree with that idea. Because with Peach, if they get in once and win neutral once, you're taking a lot of damage and possibly dying in like a blink of an eye so i'd say that's probably the right approach but peach is just so good at you know doesn't need, doesn't need that many anything. yeah but and and also peach has such unique movement mechanics in the air we're seeing how a, you know as a villager you like oh, i put down the lloyd here and this presents prevents my opponent from approaching at this exact angle but peach can kind of adjust her angle in these really unique ways to the point where that's how player four is for the most part get, been getting past the uh the wall of projectiles that uh have been thrown at him absolutely and those lloyd rockets are so easy to avoid as well because of that float just like you were talking about about the oh <gasps> so smart that was so smart oh he released and, the oh. lloyd rocket at too high to be countered <gasps> that was also so what was also smart was using that dash attack earlier because they knew that the way that player four likes to recover is start low, but then right before they get to just below the ledge, they go up. And because of that, they noticed, okay, if I if I throw a bowling ball, it won't hit, but if I throw dash attack out, at, it will hit at the perfect angle. So, All right, player four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, just Faskery's still living here at the moment, but both these players are deep in the red. Next hit might mean <laughs> you know, the, <gasps> might oh! do it. The shielding on that. Player four just weathering what? every hit and then just chunk. Perfect for spring. It's it's Earth Day, isn't it? Isn't it Earth Day this I think. week or something? Yeah, it is this week. Yeah. There we go. Earth Day kills. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Missing that setup just barely this time because we saw Faskery hit that setup a lot of using the Lloyd rocket running up and then just grabbing Is that a stitch? I do believe that is a stitch. It is if my eyes do not deceive me if that gets pocketed. That's hilarious Okay, I like that throws it into the ground. I think specifically trying to bait out a pocket. Mm-hmm um, I believe he wouldn't have had the time to do it. So player four now just barely in the lead and actually there the lead goes and uh, even though it's only about 12 percent difference it matters a lot because it dictates who has to do the real approaching if player yeah, four wanted to he could slow things down and just pull turnips but now he can't faskery is one of those players who can really just put up so much pressure out of nowhere and if you are not ready for it you will just die oh they almost died. Oh! Oh! I... Side what? not enough. How are you not dying at town like that? Oh, shielded it, but didn't get a punish out of shield. Neither of these two have hit each other in quite a bit, or at least no meaningful hits. Down tilt, still not enough. How? What the? This is. Oh. This is crazy. Oh, oh! he doesn't have a jump, but gets back to ledge. <gasps> Ooh, setting up that Lloyd rocket and then waiting out. Trying to hit something. Maybe baiting Ooh, out a counter. That should be that... it. Mm -hmm. And that's the setup that's sort of just been telling this entire story. You know, just throw out those Lloyd rockets. Go for those grabs. basque has been taking advantage of that one setup so much because they know that Stitch. you can't really... <gasps> Stitch on the ground. Is it still there? Oh, no, it's gone. No. Oh, just yeah, eat it. <laughs> eat all. Yeah, eat it. Trees helping. <laughs> Happy Earth Day. 
Wow, 70% already. This is going to be quite a deficit to work from. That being said, like, we haven't seen any really big combos come out from Player Force Peach yet, but that does not mean that, that the threat isn't there. Yeah, um, this is like one or two combos from even. But I think it's worth telling that um, I believe Peach's down tilt is still her best combo starter, oh. and oh! I wasn't... A, it, it happened! Yeah. It, in an instant. Happy, happy Earth Day! Yep, Mother happy Nature Earth Day. gets revenge. Mm hmm The environmentalist on Earth Day just... <laughs> that was... Like, it started with Vaskri sort of just playing on the back foot, but over time, Vaskri just really started to get into Player 4's head. And that's big. Yeah, and it felt like Player 4 did have some counterplay that he was executing in the first half of that game, but by the end, there were some really nice adaptations coming out onto Fast Vaskri's part. Mm -hmm. uh, it is also worth noting that at that second stock, the fact that Fast Creed took it first was huge because ended up giving him all of the momentum, dictating the pace of the game from that point on. And like playing from behind against a villager, it's rough, but like mm -hmm. clearly player four was able to handle that. But playing from behind against a villager on your last stock, just when you're on your last stock, every little nickel and dime hurts so much more. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those uh, walls get so hard to get past. Yeah, and it's like every time you get hit by a load rocket, oh, that's 12% closer to my inevitable death here. Yeah, and even though like that, like that, it was brought to final stock, the tr it was a trade for final stock, so that was a little bit more of that extra credit just to finish it off. So that's always one of the scary things about Villager. They just have so many ways to get more and more extra credit. All right, big grab possibly. Just getting some nice consistent damage. And, I, okay, how I'm, how do you feel about this Smashville pick? I actually think this is a good choice because it allows for Player 4 to be able to sort of keep it nice and close. That's sort of one of the reasons why people pick Smashville, you know? It's like, okay, I'm going to go for something that they can't really get away. And that means that those walls are going to be a little bit, just a little bit easier to get past. Yeah, and as you're, as you're saying that, we see the dash attacks coming out from player four. Before, it didn't feel really feel like he would be dash attacking and getting past the Lloyd, but I guess with less distance, it's actually becoming effective now. Oh, no. Whew, that was... Saw the, saw the face of God right there. Every, everything was flashing before their eyes. Oh, uh, I do not like imagining God with villager's face. <laughs> That reminds me of those like memes from when Smash 4 was like like getting its stuff announced. A villager just does this look like the face of mercy? <laughs> I mean he is he is not a merciful guy. <laughs> oh no mercy right there. Just mm. instant grabbing him and chucks him into the blast zone. And as we were saying before, that could be really, really mm. rough for player four. Already taken 55% and he still has to engineer this kill, which isn't coming even after he hits him with the side B. Ooh, that was so smart actually setting up. So earlier, the tree was set up as a way to get the ax, which was very smart to get more damage. But then also, we were seeing ways to just sort of block out those attempted edge guards using that Lloyd rocket, using those projectiles. <gasps> that was maybe it might have been some questionable DI on the back air, but we do see player four surviving. And, you know, we haven't really seen him go for any deep edge guards yet, but that could be because you know villagers are really tricky to edge guard but we are kind of getting to the point where that might be required for him to wrestle this match from the uh from the jaws of defeat oh he's down an entire stock right there the spacing on that was beautiful it was and just like throwing out an aerial that was like just safe enough staying like at the perfect angle so he fired, if I'm wrong, he fired the Lloyd in the other way to stall himself and yes. then did a B reverse axe, axe in order yes. to actually get the punish. Mm -hmm. So, so far, brilliant stuff from Fast Kree. And we're in that situation where once before, player four has to engineer this kill. 
That's what it feels like. It feels like he has to, you know, come up with the blueprints with, like, you mm -hmm. know, seven years of development in order to just take this stock when he's so far behind. Yeah, he's got to make those multi-view drawings of how to beat them and then just get the patents and all that, you know. Get it on that graph paper. Patents can take years. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has years. Yeah, he's, he's got, got three minutes at most. Three and a half and counting as it's still behind. And, oh, okay, okay. All right, and those are the edge guards we were talking about. And this is all of a sudden not that bad. Player four, he just wasn't really getting hit by too many terrible things. 39%. He actually has the lead. Oh, that was so smart. Using the counter right when the Lloyd Rocket was hitting instead of right before it was going to hit because they knew that Baskery was going to go for that grab after the Lloyd Rocket, actually. Yeah, and now that player four has the lead, you can see the way he's playing differently. Instead, he instead of trying to figure out a way through the Lloyd Rockets, he's just maneuvering around them and pulling turnips mm -hmm. when he feels comfortable. Yeah. And that's also pretty good because it also looks like they've just sort of seen how fast Kree likes to move how they like to set up those traps and so like seeing those tendencies really helps with just getting around them in general oh, oh the axe oh. and that's big because once again fast Kree has the lead yeah this lead I is mean, just exchanging yeah i mean two minutes on the clock we're not going to see a timeout but the pressure is still on here even with that dash attack, player four is not in the lead. What happened? What? Oh, okay. Uh, Lloyd Rocket was actually what sent player four flying there, but not enough to actually take the game. Wow. Uh, that was something for sure. And I mean, this could be their chance, you know, just barely surviving and saying, okay, I took that hit. I've got that rage. I can take this now. Fastcree trapped in the corner. Fastcree's so played so scary. cautiously of the counter because they know it will kill at this point. Hyper aware of that, but going for that counter is risky. One back throw will do it. A dash attack is not enough, but it gains player four some stage positioning. He hasn't really been able to get any kills <gasps> at the ledge, but oh, he's fine, but he's at ledge. This is so scary. Jab's putting him in the corner. What's going to happen to that shield? Is it going to shield? He's going to help. It's, oh. What? The parries! The mm. <gasps> uh. Both of these guys are just the next hit might do it, but I I feel I, like that happened. Seven hits to okay. go, but there it is. Back air finally reading the ledge roll. Fast Creek takes this at 2-0, but oh my, that was a nail biter of a game too. Yeah, wow, that was that was very tense. I was just like at the edge of my seat, you know, every single muscle in my body was just like very tight right there just thinking oh my god who's gonna win this this is like last hit and they were like going quite a while of just dealing a little bit of <laughs> chip slingshot to the eye just the <laughs> look at it goes into her eye no oh, no wonder that killed yeah that's fantastic stuff from fast kree um mm -hmm. I believe uh, Pokalam is not in attendance tonight, so we're probably not going to be getting Villager Dittos in Grand Finals, as hilarious as that would be. 